Hello all, welcome to another Vector Made tutorial. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I thought I would do a, a tribute to him um, with uh, low poly vector art uh, of this portrait. Uh, this is a nice size portrait and I like the look of it and it's got some good color. A lot of his images are black and white and I thought I'd get one with a little more color in it. <coughs> but basically I'm going to run through it and kind of show you the basics of what I will be doing to create this low poly vector, then I'm gonna go do a time lapse so you don't have to watch the whole thing because it will probably take me a while. And um, but then you'll have an idea of how it works, and you can go do this on your own portrait or uh, whatever it is that you'd like to to transform into a low poly vector. So first thing is you're gonna want to lock this layer, and I've gone ahead and created an extra layer. This will be my artwork. This is the original. You can see the small icon here. And you just click on this um, right here to lock it. That's unlocked. That's locked. So you don't want to move this thing around. You want to be able to click within the space. And so that's why we do that. And then just make sure you're on this layer when you start. Then you'll uh, click on your pen tool over here or you can hit P. And I'm just going to zoom in just hitting Alt with the middle mouse wheel to zoom in like this. This is uh, very helpful to move around the space. If you hit Control and you do your mouse wheel, it's going to go left to right. Alt, mouse wheel, zoom in and out. So combine that. You know, you're looking at doing like this. So you can get in really close to spots and you can back out to see how it looks. This is really important when you're working on an artwork to be able to do that quickly. Just have your index finger and your pinky on control and alt or whatever's comfortable for you. So take your pen tool. What you're going to want to do is find um, areas that have similar color and just create a triangle. You could do square, other uh, polygon if you want, but I find triangles work pretty well um, and they can fit in almost any space and then you don't run into issues of, oh, which shape do I use? It always fits somewhere. So. Um, so I'll just start here. This is kind of like a common spot. Um, so I'll start here, go to there, and then come down and click here. And you want to make sure that you've got uh, both your fill and your stroke so that you can tell where that shape is. When you're done, you want to make sure you've got some contrast between these two. I find the default works great. You can click right here, or you can hit D on the keyboard to make that your default white fill, black stroke. So you make a shape like that. You want to go ahead and do the next one. Before you do that, you want to have, um, let's see, where are we looking? View, smart guides on. Control U is the hotkey. Make sure that's on because you get these little indicators. See, it says anchor, anchor, or path. And most of the time, we're going to be wanting to go right on those anchors. Now, if I were to click right now, uh, say wanting to start another shape, if I click here, this is going to be deleted, and I don't want that. So if you go back and then hit Control Shift A, you get a fresh pen tool, and that is unselected. So let's go ahead and start on that anchor point right there, and come up here, and come here, and we just created another shape. And then we rinse, repeat, do the same thing. We'll probably, uh, let's see, maybe come in here, do that, do another shape. This color is all very similar, but there's a bit of a curve, so I might do something like that. I kind of like that. Okay. I'll just do a small section here. And then um, we can color that in, and then I'll kind of show you how I would finish it. So let's do another one here, because that's a fairly light area. And maybe do a little bit of the hair here. That's definitely a different color, too. So. Um, 
Sometimes it's also not going to be a, a drastically different color. You're just going to be going for the shape. Something like that. Now, I don't like that. That didn't work out very well. So let me, let me come in and pull these to be... Oh, I've, I don't want snap. Snap to pixel off. That's a good... Um, I'm glad that happened because you don't want that. You don't want snap to pixel. So that will ruin everything. <laughs> um, unless you're working on a pixel grid and you have to have it snap to these pixels, but most of the time you don't want to do that. Let's do just a couple more here. Maybe up to about there. And something like that. Okay, but the whole thing will look like this. When you're done, an easy thing to do would be um, to get rid of the fill. So we'll click on that and just do this. And maybe you want to increase your stroke so you can see the pieces, something like that. Whatever works for you. Now, I'm, I'm hitting A. You can come up here and do the direct selection tool. Um, or you can just use this one. It, it doesn't really matter because they're not grouped. But if they are grouped, you'll want to use A because then you're just selecting that one. But um, if they aren't grouped, you can use the selection tool, hotkey V. Hit it, hit I, or come over here to the eyedropper tool, which is right here. And then just click in the middle of the shape you created to get the color. So like that, boom. All right, so I'm going to go back and forth with V and I. V, I, V, I, V, I, and so on. And see how I'm not getting the exact same color every time. I'm getting a little bit different color, which is really good. Um, it'll look awesome when it's all done. Oops, I had that selected. Still. There we go. And let's select this one. Come in here. Grab this one. And so, you know, you can pick a slightly different color. But, but this is what it's going to look like in the end. It's going to be like this. So you've got a little bit of variation um, which will indicate where the hair and the highlights of the skin are and stuff like that. But when it's all said and done it's going to look really cool. So that's how you do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and stop talking from here, do a uh, time lapse, and then you guys just leave any comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, all that. Alright, thanks. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the South.